Hello everybody! It is an absolutely beautiful Sunday morning here, and I don't feel like doing much of anything at all. I got out of bed at 8, I was in the garden weeding by 8.30, and now I've had breakfast and I sat down and said, I just really don't feel like doing anything, so I'm not going to do a weekly wrap-up. I have other things pre-filmed for this coming week, so I'm just going to do a quick update on what I'm currently reading and how Tome Topple is going so far for me. So I'm going to start with Tome Topple first. Um, I finished The Margarets by Sherry S. Tepper, which is my buddy read with Joe. Um, as is pretty usual for me and Tepper, it was kind of equal parts things that I really enjoyed that I thought were really interesting and then things that I didn't like so much or I didn't quite like the way that Tepper wrote them or handled them. She never writes boring stories, which is why I keep reading her books even if I don't agree with quite everything, even if I don't think that she executes her stories the best every time. This one is probably one of my favorites by her just for sheer ideas. I think the concept of it was pretty interesting. The other book for Tom Topple that I have finished is my second one, which is The Moon and the Other by John Kessel. I went into this knowing absolutely nothing about it, which is really rare for me these days, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's basically about a matriarchal society established on the moon, and the patriarchal societies around it um, are trying to find a pretext for going in and investigating and taking over, and they send in a team to investigate how men are being treated in the society and whether they're developing weapons. And there are a lot of interpersonal relationships with people who live outside of this kind of feminist utopia, and then people who grew up there and were exiled, and people who still live there and may or may not want to continue living there. And it was very quiet, very understated at first. I didn't really feel much from the story, and then it started to really, really get under my skin by the end of it, and I was quite impressed when I was done with it. The last thing that I have set out to read for Tome Topple is Green Earth by Kim Stanley Robinson. I am 207 pages into 1069. I could finish this by the end of Tome Topple if I read like 150 to 200 pages of it per day, which I could do if I wasn't distracted by other things, but the fact is I am distracted by other things. So I think I said in my original TBR video that I'd be happy if I just got halfway through it, and I'm only going to aim to get to around page 500 or 600. I think that's more realistic, and I know I'm going to finish it, you know. I've also been quite enjoying this, though I'm not far enough into it so far to really know what most of it's about, but um, the first 200 or so pages gave me some feelings like when I was just blasting my way through Red Mars. It's a very different story, like it's set on Earth in Washington DC, not, you know, <laughs> on Mars. But there's something just in the way that Robinson writes and the details that he includes and the way people talk and everything. It's, it feels very similar to me for that reason, I guess. So. I'll probably get halfway through this and that will be the end of my quite successful Tome Topple. So now on to all the other things that are on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads, which I may or may not be actively reading right now. First up is Justice Hall by Laurie R. King, which is the sixth book in the Russell and Holmes mystery series. I've really been enjoying this. I'm about 70 pages from the end, so I'm going to finish it today. That's kind of my priority so I don't lose the book on Overdrive before I finish it. Um, I like this one so much more than the previous book in the series, which is called O Jerusalem, which is maybe a little bit ironic because even though this book is set five years after the events in O Jerusalem, it brings back um, characters from that story that I didn't really like and what happened in that. It brings it all back to the present day and I, and yeah, I like it so much more. I really detested some of the characters in O Jerusalem. I really didn't like the situation. But this particular book, most of the investigation in it is Russell and Holmes trying to find out the exact circumstances under which a young soldier was executed for cowardice in World War I in France. And it's really emotional. I'm, I'm not even done with the book yet, and some of the scenes in it have almost moved me to tears. It's, it's been a really good story so far. So I'm glad that I'm liking it 
a lot more than the previous one. I think this will probably be one of my favorites in the series so far. And then I started on Ex Libris, which is an anthology of SFF stories about libraries and librarians, edited by Paula Garan. I've been trying to read one story per day from this, so I'm not that far into it, but I have been quite enjoying it. I just, I really love the theme of this particular anthology, you know, it's right up my alley. Um, and then these next two books have been on my currently reading shelf for a while, but I haven't actually been reading them actively for a while. The first one is Lavandus by Robert Holdstock, which is um, not exactly the follow-up to Mythago Wood, but it's the next published in that series. And I'm only like 60 pages into this. I've taken a break from it. I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot more than Mythago Wood, which I did like. Um, I just haven't been in the mood for this. I guess it's worked its way to the bottom of my currently reading pile. Um, and then kind of the same thing with Romantic Outlaws by Charlotte Gordon. This is the biography of Mary Wollstonecraft and her daughter Mary, Mary Shelley that I was going to read in June for Yamini's Tales & Co. book club. I just was reading books that I owned instead of this one library book in June, and I guess I wasn't really feeling like nonfiction, so I got like a couple chapters into it three chapters into it, and I liked it. I really enjoyed what I've read of it so far. It's just kind of fallen off of my radar. And then the last thing, um, which I have to say, I'm kind of contemplating DNFing. This is The Big Over Easy by Jasper Ford, um, the first book in his Nursery Crimes Division series where characters literally investigate nursery crimes. This one is investigating the death of Humpty Dumpty who fell off a wall and yeah. Um, I think it's kind of kooky and whimsical and I really enjoy those aspects of it, but there's something about the main character, Jack Spratt, he's the main detective. It's just, he's kind of a wet blanket, I guess. I, I'm not really into his story and what is the eventual fate of the Nursery Crimes Division and everything. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm almost halfway through it. I feel like I shouldn't give up on it, but if it's not holding my attention. I should probably move on to something else because I can always get this book again from the library if I decide to not keep it and not finish it. Um, so that's what I'm currently reading, and I want to mention one book that I'm, I know I am going to start in the next couple of days, and that is Egypt by John Crowley. This is going to be a book for my friend's book chat in July, and I should probably get a move on and read it. I haven't read anything by John Crowley since I read Little Big years ago. I did read his kind of annotated new translation of the Chemical Wedding, but that's not a, an original book by him. So it's been a while since I have read anything by him, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love his writing style because that's what I most loved about Little Big, and I really don't know anything else about this book. Other than I'm going to go kind of into blind and see what I think of it. And that, my friends, is pretty much it for me today. I've started a bunch of things and I'm getting that itchy feeling like I need to start finishing them so I can start a new batch of books. <laughs> and uh, earlier this week, I went on a day trip to visit a friend and we were kind of just bumming around the downtown area of a city I haven't been to in close to a decade. And of course, I stumbled across two places that had really great book selections, a bookstore and kind of a hippie store, new age store, and I went kind of crazy and I bought a bunch of books of those places because they had really great SFF selections. They're sitting on my coffee table right now and I really want to get started on them and I should probably just indulge myself with that whim and read books very soon after I actually buy them, but yeah, I want to get done with Tome Topple first. <laughs> So let me know how you guys have been this weekend. I hope you've been having as enjoyable and relaxing a weekend as I have had. And I'll be back in a couple of days to talk to you again. And until then, bye.